Reptiles are misunderstood creatures, with snakes probably being on top of the list, which means there are many myths surrounding them, some which you can kind of see where they originated from and others being just completely bonkers. So stay tuned on Ant's Reptile Colony as we go through five more snake myths. got Attenborough here today to try and help us with some of these snake myths if he stays still for long enough. But to start off with myth number one and that is that snakes are deaf. Which of course isn't true. You can see how it comes about though because snakes don't have any external ears like we do. Or like geckos that have that hole on the side of their heads. You don't see that either. It's completely smooth. I don't know if you can see there hopefully. Oop, got a glimpse that there is no ears over there. Okay, so they don't have any external ears, but they do have internal ears, which means they can pick up on some sounds. They do struggle to hear the airborne sounds, especially the more high-pitched ones, but they can hear the more low-frequency ones. They are very good, however, at hearing vibrations that come through the ground or sounds that come through the ground because their lower jaw is actually connected there into their inner ear to help with pick up those vibrations. The second myth is a two-parter and that is that all snakes are venomous and only venomous snakes have teeth. You can see where the problem comes in there can't you? So let's start with all snakes are venomous. Of course this is false because Attenborough over here is a corn snake, a constrictor which means he has no venom and he kills his prey through constriction. All right, just like pythons and boas, he has no venom. And since he has no venom, that must mean he has no teeth, right? Since only venomous snakes have teeth. And again, you've guessed it, it's false. Attenborough may not be venomous, but he definitely has teeth. Otherwise, how else is he gonna hang on to that, those mice that he manages to catch? So all snakes have teeth, all right? Except egg-eating snakes, because egg-eating snakes don't need to really have teeth to you know, catch their eggs because their eggs aren't really going to get away, so they don't really need teeth. They do, however, have bony plates to help grip the egg a little bit to help ingest them, but as a whole, no teeth. What venomous snakes do have though are fangs, and these are enlarged teeth specialized to deliver venom, which is what these non venomous snakes do not have. Non venomous snakes do not have any fangs, while only venomous snakes have fangs. To learn more about fangs, Check on the card over here. These, I think it's on the side of the screen. Sticking to the theme of venomous and non-venomous snakes, we're gonna move on to myth number three. Only venomous snakes have vertical or cat's eye pu shaped pupils, whereas non-venomous snakes all have rounded pupils. Attenborough over here is a corn snake, non-venomous. He, I can tell you because he's not snake still enough, has round pupils, but that's not always the case. The shape of the pupil is more to do with what time of day the animals are usually active in, or the snakes are usually active in. With vertical or cat's eye pupils usually being more active at night, or nocturnal species, whereas diurnal species, which are active mainly during the day, have round pupils, like Attenborough over here. But of course this has many exceptions, this is just a general rule. There's still much more research that needs to go into this. The moral of the story is that vertical pupils do not mean that the snake is venomous. So myth busted. Now these last two myths in my opinion are some more crazy ones, especially the last one. So we're going to be getting into myth number four now and that is that snakes have absolutely no bones. So Attenborough here supposedly has no, not a single bone in his body, which of course is untrue. Snakes are in fact vertebrates, which means they do have a vertebral column. It means they're having a backbone, all right? So snakes have a backbone, which means they cannot have no bones. But you can see how it originated perhaps because snakes look a lot like worms, which have no bones and are super flexible, which could make many think that they are in fact boneless. So not only do snakes have the backbone and ribs, which make up the majority of their skeleton, they also have their skull. And that's pretty much all the major bones that you can find. Have a look at the top here again to find out more. And myth number five is perhaps the craziest myth that I've come across today. And that is that when a snake is decapitated, it will only die at sunset. I mean, come on. When a snake is decapitated, no matter what time of day it is, it's going to die. 
But I can see potentially where this myth has originated from, and that is because the snake's nervous system and muscles is slightly different to our own. So if a snake is decapitated or has died, the nervous system still fires signals to the muscles for a period of time, causing them to move, or at least wriggle around quite a bit. But because in humans it will only be a couple of, you know, jitters or, or sharp movements, or twitches so to speak, with snakes it can be the entire body. But the myth is again definitely false, because what if you are one of these snakes, or one of these people that might, might live in the Arctic Circle, and that experiences six months of continuous daylight, and six months of continuous darkness. Well, this, if you had to, uh, you know, kill a snake in month two of daylight, will you, the snake live for another four months before the sun sets? I don't think so. I just want to put it out there. I'm not condoning the killing of any snake. Uh, please don't do that. It's just an example to tell you how dumb this myth is. So as I mentioned, the snake's body could move for a couple of minutes, perhaps after death, but definitely it's not going to wait until sunset to die. All right, that's just, yeah, I don't know, guys. It just, how that myth is still around, I don't know, but definitely myth busted. And that's it, that's our five more snake myths busted, explained, elaborated on, whatever word you've choose to put in there. Let me know if you've come across any more myths or have heard of any myths, drop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the new content. And if you happen to miss our part one of snake myths, be sure to click it on screen now and you'll find even crazier myths than the one of the snakes only dying at sunset. But until next time, remember, it's never too late to learn, and we'll catch you in the next one. Right. Yes, this is great, great filming.